Right now the building has been put up. The building is as tall and as big as it will get. Now in front of us is what we're calling the front porch of the building. The idea is you will be able to see through the building, through the back of the building to the oak trees that we saved. That's the actual siding of the building to scale. The, the colors from it actually come from um, samples of the block and when you actually zoom in on them like magnify glass, those are the colors that actually come out of it. Unlike many of the buildings on campus who are very introverted around a courtyard system, this is a building that's very extroverted. It, you, you can see through it. There are only three rooms in the basement, well, so let's call it three and a half rooms in the basement that do not have natural light. Every other room in this building has either natural light coming through a skylight or has really big windows. This is the cafe. Basically, we're modeling it kind of like a Starbucks, so we'll have sandwiches and coffees and, and smoothies, wireless everywhere. You'll be able to sit here and just hang out. This is the outdoor courtyard. Straight ahead of us, beyond that pile of masonry and drywall, is what we call the gallery space. Those two columns, basically between it, are the folding um, glass doors that'll be actually be able to fold back. So it effectively becomes a proscenium opening if you want to do a production in this, in this area down there because it's a very big courtyard down there. And this is set up where it's seating. So one could absolutely imagine us using that outdoor space for a lecture or for the Shakespeare plays for that matter. This is turning out to be my favorite space in the entire building. When this scaffolding comes down, you're going to have these oak trees. On the third floor of the level, uh, floor, it's facing um, south. That creates a two-story space here. It creates the outdoor classroom space up there. So what happens is the building does a U-shape and, and, and basically is classrooms all the way around. The, the, the railings will be about as high as this and then there's a, another pipe railing that comes up. The pipe railing was designed to have skateboards hung on it. This is the entrance to the president's suite right here. Okay, let's go up. In the distance over there is a 40-person classroom and tucked in the back corner is the 70-person flat classroom. It's the largest flat classroom we have. This section here is the outdoor classroom. There are actually going to be glass panels that you'll be able to write on like a writing surface. This is basically an open patio area. This is the, pl uh, the prow classroom. It has um, a set of paired doors that open up. This is perfect area to have a, um, an event at night if you had a dinner or something like that where you could have something going on in the room and you spill out here. So this is basically open patio area. Originally, the, the actual um, classroom was perpendicular and parallel to the outside wall. And when, when they went through designs, um, that's when they started to skew the grid lines where it broke free from the wall which then says, okay, well, something different. So they made it a glass box. Creates a wonderful space. There's so many things in this building that um, we just don't have in other places. It's really going to be uh, quite nice.